Hey guys, welcome to Layla Teachers. Today we'll be doing the pyramidal system. Our mnemonic is cows can moo. Now, if this is difficult to remember because it's the truth, you can go with the absolute opposite, which would be cows can't moo, which is completely absurd. So maybe you'll remember that better. So it's either a can or a can't. Um... Or you can even go with couldn't care much. If you couldn't be asked to do this topic, you can literally just go with couldn't care much. So you couldn't care much about this topic. But we have to do it anyway. So the pyramidal system is responsible for the execution of highly skilled voluntary movements, which is motor, especially the hand and the face. And it has two components. So two components. So now we've got cows can. So one C here and another C over here. And mu, I'll tell you later, it comes in different places. Okay, so mu is literally to do with motor. But I'll get back to it later. So the first C is corticospinal. The name tells you that it goes from the cortex to the spinal cord. And the second one would be cortico, bulba or bulba. And these two are tracts. So they have to go from the brain to the spinal cord through the brain stem. Now the corticospinal tract starts, actually both of them start with M1. And M1, if you know, which you should know, is the precentral gyrus, also Brotman area number 4. So both of them start from M1. You know it, so I'm going to write number 4. That's why I've written mu here, because this is one of the M's, all right? So then from the precentral gyrus, it goes to the posterior limb of the internal capsule. And then this tract goes to the midbrain through the cerebral cruise of the midbrain and the pyramidal system is called pyramidal because it passes through the pyramids of the medulla so pyramids of the medulla and as it passes the pyramids it goes to the spinal cord the white matter and lands in the ventral rema you know the ventral rema is supposed to be motor so it synapses with the alpha motor neurons in the anterior gray horn of the spinal cord now um this track cortical spinal is two so one that goes straight from here up and this is known as the anterior cortical spinal tract and it supplies the proximal musculature all right and there's another one lateral which crosses over it goes like this and that would be a lateral cortical spinal tract and it um innervates the distal musculature okay so and damage to this spine uh, this tract would lead to permanent loss of the fine control of the extremities right that is the cortical spinal tract then we move on to the cortical bulbar tract which is quite similar so we go from m1 and um, oh another m would be the motor and then they go to these motor neurons, go to the motor organs, of course, which so you have three M's with this one, right? Okay, so from the motor, you go to the genu, which is the neck of the internal capsule. Then you pass the brain stem. Again, the pyramids, of course. And then you go to the motor nuclei of the cranial nerves nuclei of cranial nerves some of them cross over some of them don't it depends and from here of course the motor nuclei will take you to the motor organs and this is it for the pyramidal system pretty easy i believe so if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos guys take care 
So here you can see the uh, pyramidal system. So it starts from the cerebrum, obviously the internal capsule, from the motor cortex, this is the upper motor neurons. They go down through the midbrain, the cerebral peduncles or the cerebral crews. Um, then it goes down to the cere through the cerebellum, obviously the brain stem needs to pass that, then the pons. And then when it reaches the medulla, it passes the pyramids where the pyramidal decussation occurs. And then you ha you can see both tracks, the lateral cortical spinal tract that crosses over. Then you've got the um, anterior cortical spinal tract that going down. And then they end at the spinal cord level, ventral rami, which from there, the alpha and motor neurons carry them to, for example, the skeletal muscles, where they go to innovate the motor organs.